Okay, let's talk about the CLEP College Mathematics exam. And specifically, we're going to talk about what it takes to pass in 2020. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you're interested in the CLEP uh, program, the CLEP exams, and there's a multi multitude of them. But specifically, the one that you're uh, probably interested in is the College Mathematics uh, CLEP exam. So um, as you probably know, if you're watching this video, the CLEP program is fantastic and uh, it basically is if you can demonstrate your knowledge of a particular um, topic in this case it's going to be college mathematics you can uh, get college credits for free okay in other words you will don't have to take that course and they'll give you uh, college credits so that's extremely powerful because it will t uh, save you time and money in your education and as we both know uh, today's cost of school is is pretty steep so it's definitely worth um, your efforts to study for uh, these CLEP exams that obviously I'm going to be talking about the college mathematics one here but um, any CLEP exam that you think you can you know have a shot at passing uh, from my standpoint it's definitely worth the effort to um, you know put into to see if you can pass these exams because they're not available to all college courses they're only more towards the entry level courses so anyways enough on the um, advantages uh, of the CLEP program and now let's get into the college mathematics uh, part of it so what it takes to pass in 2020 well I don't want to mislead you so much I mean the titles probably saying oh there's something going on in 2020 that's different than say 2019 2018 or maybe even in 2022 or 23 listen what I'm going to be really telling you here is timeless advice but oftentimes students will look for something or you know hey is there something going on this year versus last year that give you will give you an edge there may be but but basically what it's going to come down to is you got to know your stuff right you got to really know a lot of mathematics to do uh, well on the clip and pass so I'm just going to give you some concepts here that will help hopefully help you uh, prioritize a plan of action so you can uh, work on passing the college mathematics exam so um, one other thing if you're in need of a good math uh, program uh, to study from I actually offer a CLEP college mathematics prep course I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check that out um, but it will be there if you want to uh, take a look okay so let's get into it so uh, CLEP college mathematics so my background is I'm a math teacher so I taught middle school math high school math some college math so this is my area of expertise and I can tell you right now the uh, CLEP college mathematics has a lot of math okay so one um, you need to kind of really understand that you know you need to know so let's write this down you need to know a lot of math okay a lot of math now that might be like okay yeah that's kind of common sense yeah you get that but what I think you need to kind of reflect on that and be like okay just because you took a course let's say in in, in uh, high school you took oh yeah I took algebra one I took geometry I took algebra two okay you took all those courses but do you know all this material is it all fresh in your in your mind could you go back and pass the, your test and final exams again like you did when you were actually taking those courses no no one could right you have to go back and review and relearn things and that's just you know um, normal okay so uh, oftentimes people will will kind of have this false sense of confidence they'll say oh yeah I took this class I got an A I took this class I got an A I'm super good at math because I took all these courses and so you know I may need you know not to need to review that much that's a, that's not a good way to go okay when in terms of uh, the CLEP exam because think about it you know the CLEP exam is going to be rigorous as it should be because you're you're taking a, a test that's it's not a placement test it's it's a test that to for you to test out of so you got to show you know really strong mastery in a lot of different areas for the college mathematics now there is a different uh, CLEP exam there's college algebra which is not as uh, difficult well it doesn't cover as much math let's say this much but the college mathematics is you know there's a lot of math here okay so you need to know a lot of math this is the, is, the, is the first thing I would say the second thing is you need to get you need to have great material to study from okay so you need to have great study material so if you're like kinda don't have an organized plan of action like how are you gonna approach studying for this well that's not that's not gonna 
you know, be an effective plan, okay? Because you're going to probably miss a lot of things. So uh, some of the things that could constitute a great study material, maybe like, but certainly my program uh, that I offer has a lot of great programs. It's not the only one. You know, there's other things out there. What you need to do is find something that you that connects to you. And I would also say, in in terms of your study material, try to have something that has uh, that involves teacher instruction. Just don't go strictly with say a uh, a textbook or some sort of study guide. Or those can be effective, but not nearly as effective as something that you can reference a teacher teaching you things like the binomial theorem or or functions, inverse functions, uh, how to multiply matrices, you know, on and on and on. There's a ton of things. If you just sit and look at a, a textbook, it's, you know, for most people, it's much more difficult to try to figure out what's going on versus having a, te a good teacher explain it to you. So you need great uh, a great study uh, material and an organized plan, but but again, I would strongly encourage you to get a get into a program that has uh, a teacher involved. Now, uh, you're not going to probably find something at your local college, you know, where you know you can enroll. And there is no such thing as a CLEP college math class you can enroll enroll in at your local community college. At least that, not that I know of. But there are a lot of online programs out there for you to weigh. I, find something that you connect from but again the most important uh, factor in learning math is is the teacher okay that can make all the difference and then the last thing I want to um, kind of emphasize here is time okay you need to give yourself a lot of time to uh, study before you go in and take the clap so when you take a look at the amount of mathematics involved it's it's you know it's a serious test just think about your midterms and final exams when you took like algebra 2 or pre-calculus I mean even like a, let's say a final exam in pre-calculus the second semester of pre-calculus your teacher might have started uh, reviewing for that like two weeks just to cover half the second half of that course that's kind of a yeah, I would say an average or a typical amount of time where a teacher one to two weeks but you know, generally like two weeks the teacher will start reviewing the class for a uh, either a midterm or a final exam okay so if you just kind of like think about all the different components here how many of the weeks that you uh, studied for midterms and final exams for all these other courses you've taken you can see that's going to add up to you know uh, a few months so you need to have a good amount of time study time uh, to give yourself the best uh, shot on the CLEP. So my, uh, you know, it's going to all depend on your current level of math skills, whether you're coming out of, say, pre-calculus uh, or some other advanced course, and a lot of this stuff is fresh in your mind. But if you've been away from math for, you know, let's say a semester or not, you need to be thinking at a minimum one month, uh, I think is, is uh, reasonable, okay? At least a month for, even if you're like, you know, feel pretty strong about it, unless you're, you know, the only exceptions would be, let's say, you know, you studied, you know, uh, CLEP College Mathematics, you know, six to eight hours per day, and that's all you did for, like, say, two weeks. Then yeah, that might be a little, little bit different, but I think in, in terms of a reasonable expectation, you're just thinking, well, how much time do I need to study for this thing? You know, to give yourself, a, you know, like the really best, you know, odds of passing, I would say, that, you know, you got to be thinking in terms of a month and beyond. Okay, but let me just leave you with this. Is it worth it? You know, how much is it worth it to you to actually get, you know, uh, credits and test out of, uh, you know, a class that you uh, would otherwise have to spend a year in and spend the money to take in your, your degree program? You know, it's worth a lot. Okay, so you got to be sold on why you're going for the CLEP program. Again, it's not going to be available for all classes. Um, you know, in your college, there's only certain classes. And if you have a, a shot, you know, if you've taken um, previous, a lot of math, you know, uh, prior to this, and you feel good about your math skills, then you should, you know, do something with that. You know, you've, er you've earned that. You know, the CLEP is obviously different than the AP program, uh, which you're probably uh, familiar with, where, you know, in high school, you would take AP calculus and try to test out of it. The CLEP is a different program, but it's an excellent program. So, you know, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Well, you're going to, if you do all this stuff, you're going to definitely increase your math skills. You'll be really strong. And the worst is you, you don't, you don't pass. Okay. But 
you know, uh, again, you should definitely uh, try because, you know, if you have a good plan of action, uh, I think you'll have definitely more than a 50-50 shot at uh, passing. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description of this video to my uh, specific CLEP college mathematics course. You can check that out if you'd like to. Also, on my YouTube channel, I literally have hundreds of videos that will help you prepare um, uh, for the CLEP college mathematics. So, a lot of stuff that you can check out in various playlists. So, hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful some way, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, let me know, you know, maybe how you found out about the CLEP exam. You know, did your guidance counselor tell you about it? Did you just, did the colleges tell you about it? You know, do you have any other questions or concerns? I try to read as many comments as I, I can on my uh, videos. I get a lot of them, which I definitely appreciate, but it's the one thing that helps me figure out how I'm doing and also gives me uh, ideas for future videos so I can help you out. But with that being said, I definitely encourage you to go for it in terms of these uh, CLEP exams, you know, obviously specifically the CLEP. Uh, college mathematics, but all all the other CLEP exams that uh, you know you have a um, an interest in, you know, you should definitely pursue that. So thank you for your time, and have a great day.